Hey everyone. So in this video, we'll do a setup of GitHub Copilot CLI. All right. So what we will do, we'll simply create a fresh machine on Ubuntu or any machine you can try. The process is the same for the setup. A little bit command difference, but after the setup is completed, it is all the same. All right. So now what I will do is I'll just create a simple um, Azure VM. You can create any VM, any Ubuntu or uh, you can use the GCP or AWS or Linode or DC Direction, any cloud or even you can have your own Linux operating system and the command will be the same. All right. So I'll just go to the virtual machine. Click on create. And let's give a name or GH GitHub Copilot CLI. CLI VM, all right? And say number 001. I simply go with a very simple, basic, um, uh, standard uh, VM. And what I will do is I'll simply do a username and password. So any username that you can try and your own password. Right? Now preview and create. And click on create. This will take little time. Now go to the resource. And I'll just use uh, click on connect. And here I'll get an IP and I have an admin username. So what I will do is I'll just open a uh, git bash or you can even open a uh, command line or any uh, bash program. Just um, try SSH and your admin username and the IP address. Say yes. And I enter the password. Now I am in the machine. Now everybody is the same whether you create any sort of VM. Now I'll just log in using the sudo su. So now as an admin user so that I can install anything. So first of all, let's update and upgrade command. Now let us do upgrade. Say yes. All right, so upgrade has done. So now we need to check two commands git command and gh command. GH command. So let's check git version is there. Now let's check gh version. It is not there. So what we can do is we can try snap install gh. They already gave us a suggestion. So I'll just Copy and paste. Okay, all right. So now it's installed. So now let's check. All right, it's working fine. So now we need a one command to install the GitHub Copilot. So this is the command: gh space extension install GitHub gh hyphen copilot all right just enter to authenticate please run gh auth login so what i will do is gh auth login i'll do and you have an arrow if you have a individual license then you can use or if you have an enterprise license then you can use the c1 so i'll just use github.com and you can click on https and now authenticate GitHub, the grid credential, yes. And you can say simply say uh, login with web browser, but you may get a little error, but don't worry about it. Now let's uh, copy this portion. And now let's enter. So it has thrown an error, but don't worry about it. Just copy this uh, 
first part and go to the command uh, browser and just paste it so this is a, and it will ask you for device activation so again go to the CLI and just this is if you see uh, first copy your one time code so I just copy this and go to the browser and just paste it and continue and here you just say authorize github and just put your password just go with password and this is your github password so congratulations you are all set all right so now let's go and say logged in and your this is my github username so it is over there so we are all set we have already installed now let's test simple basic command and then we'll move towards the next video so gh and this is a basic command then you have a, a copilot and then say explain what i will say uh, give me so this is the basic syntax gh copilot and explain and this will and then you whenever you are in the shell script or you don't need to go any other and while you're running your shell script or command at that time you can ask give me echo command to greet hello world so what I am missing bit of copilot all right let's see okay I guess the extension with that we previously it was not showing let's uh, perhaps it has not been installed so let's try it okay so now installed X okay so we have to auth login first and then after it will install the github copilot all right so now it will check so now let's again try this command and allow github okay yes so now you can see it has started processing and it has given echo hello world now you just can copy this command and you can execute looks pretty boring initially but um, trust me I have tried this thing a lot and it is helping a lot now let us uh, say again to another things say for example you just forgot uh, certain things and like you don't know the command you are searching somewhere but you are in a cell script so what you can do is simply say for example uh, give me um, how to list files uh, starts with say word f so let's see okay so it has given and with example command let's try this as well so don't think that it is only a helping some help command or something but it is now you can see it has given an example now let's say example which is uh, not even in this operating system and then you want to try so if I say that uh, docker command to run mysql uh, with root uh, password say root 123 and with port on uh, 330 so this is not a user manual some people say they might think that this is user manual and no no now let us see let's wait and we have already there so docker run is used for that and you have that mysql docker image so let's ask let's try to ask even um, uh, docker command to run uh, give sample command or pull command let's try this thing even I don't know what will be the result but I'm just trying yes exactly this is what I was looking for now it has given so it is up to you how you uh, you you need uh, some practice to have some prompt and this is what a prompt engineering that you'll have to go back and forth and you need to understand how github copilot CLI gives you uh, the result so this is what exactly it has given a full command this is perfectly fine you can even ask some of the, like detach or whatever the in the description 
all right so this is a simple uh, installation and a setup on that um, thanks for watching see you in the next video